got one of the cutest, most little saucy projects for you guys today. I'm going to be showing you how to make a DIY sewing themed tumbler to help you keep hydrated, show your love of sewing at the same time, and show a little bit of personality while we're at it. But before we get into the tutorial, I do want to talk to you guys a little bit about my most recent collaboration with Anna Luisa Jewelry. You guys, I have talked to you about them a gajillion times before. We've collabed together for the past, well, since I moved to Charlotte. So two, almost three years. Um, their jewelry is beautiful. It has exceptional quality. All those pieces that I got when I first moved to Charlotte still hold up, still stand up, they're still beautiful and look like they're brand new. They use incredible materials, the most noble metals, so that they continue to look brand new, um, even after you've had them for years and years. And as a company, they're also carbon neutral, meaning that 100% of their carbon emissions are offset, starting with how they source the materials all the way through to how they dispose of those materials. It's kind of like a fair trade with mother nature. It's a net zero game and whatever they take, they are giving back to the world, which is wonderful. And then also on top of all of that, their prices are incredible. They have some jewelry starting at $39. It does go up from there, but even their most expensive pieces are way more affordable because there's no middleman. So I absolutely love, love, love their products so much. You can see some of them that I am wearing today. I've got this beautiful stacked necklace. Let me show you. I've got this beautiful stacked necklace. And if you're not familiar with the stacked necklace trend, it is on fire. Everybody, all the celebrities, all the fashion girls, everybody are wearing these stacked necklaces. And the beauty of the stacked necklaces today versus when the trend first started was you initially had to put it all together yourself. You had to buy three separate necklaces and figure out the right length and how it was going to work. But nowadays they are selling them all together as one set. So this is three separate necklaces. They aren't attached to each other in any way. Um, but they are meant to be worn together. That said though, each one individually would also be really beautiful by itself. So if you're more of a minimalist jewelry girl, or if you wanna buy one set and then divvy it up between three of your girlfriends, you could absolutely do that as well. But I love wearing them together. It looks like a very unintentional, beautiful, magical situation that I literally put no thought into other than clicking the buy button. Um, I've also got these really fun earrings. Okay, so we've got a star on one side and a moon on the other side. So it's kind of like a celestial vibe. I thought that kind of went really well with this little medallion that we've got here. And I just think it's fun to have like an asymmetrical situation very, very subtly um, in your earrings. People aren't going to look at you and think, oh, darn, that poor girl, she grabbed the wrong earring. They're going to be able to tell that this is like an intentional, purposeful situation. And then the last thing I got, you guys know, I always wear a ring to represent my relationship with Dan. And so I picked up this one. It is kind of like a braided um, metal and it's just something simple to throw on it's not too flashy to me if i were going to get into the significance of it the braid you know kind of illustrates things that are intertwined like our lives yada 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 so in love um but if you have other pieces you can certainly you know move the ring around and wear it on different fingers um you can even stack it with some other ones that you've got to create a similar situation as this um it's just a really fun fun little detail to add to the hand. So you can see all three pieces that I got here um, work really wonderfully together. I really love them. So be sure to check out the description box, um, check out the link and head over to Ana Luisa and shop some jewelry. Okay, but now we need to get into this tutorial and I can show you how to make this super, super fun, super tongue in cheek, fun little sewing themed reusable tumbler. For this project, you're going to need a scrap of fabric. I prefer a solid color fabric for this just to ensure the iron-on stands out. I also recommend a quilting weight cotton so that it's sturdy enough to stand up in your cup, but not too thick that the cup won't seal. 
You'll also need some iron-on and my design file from Cricut. You can find links to both of these in the description box. You can use any of the Cricut machines for this project, even the Joy. So your first step is to cut out the design. Do not forget to mirror it. <laughs> and then we'll weed out all of the negative space. So I realized that uh, weeding this is a bit of a process, especially whenever you get to this little um, thimble here, but you just have to trust that it's worth it um, because it's gonna be really, really, really stinking cute. Okay, okay. So I'm going to place my, um, my iron on on the fabric first um before i cut it out because i feel like i have a little bit more control over the placement of the iron on i feel like now i can just sort of you know just about get it in the center and then i can use the template that came with the cup um in order to like perfect the centeredness of everything Oh, so gratifying. Okay, there she is. Isn't that cute with the colors? I think that's really going to pop on the cup. Okay, so I took the um, template that came with the cup and I cut out a, you know, similar template from some leftover um, of the Cricut the stuff that you peel away from the vinyl. I've been doing a lot of Cricut projects lately and so I had a whole bunch of this left over. And so I thought that um, it would be a great way to use this um, because it is going to stick ever so slightly to our um, fabric. Not too, too much. Obviously it's meant to like let go. But yeah, we just wanna try and get it centered as close as possible like so. And again, this is not going to like permanently stick, but it is going to give us enough of a stick that we can trace around. You can see our template is drawn on beautifully. And then you want to cut out your fabric. Okay, there she is. Easy peasy. And I like to take some of the cutaway fabric and that's what I use to get rid of all that chalk. Okay, so now we should be able to roll this up. I'm hoping we can do it without any interfacing um, because I do want it to stay sort of thin. Perfect, it's going to overlap a little bit in there. Also okay. Okay, stick this guy in, line up the bottom, get it on there nice and tight. And ta-da! Wow, it looks really cute. So, so, so cute. And all of your sewing friends are gonna be so envious of your um, little cup that honestly took like not that much time. But there she is. And then you take your top off and you fill it up with drinky drink, um, your drink of choice. The lip is actually on the outside of the cup so you don't ever have to worry about the fabric getting wet. So. I hope you guys like this. I had so much fun designing it. Um, the design file for Cricut is linked in the description box, as is the exact tumbler that I am using, as is, let's not forget, the link for Anna Luisa Jewelry where you can pick up a lot of this blingy bling bling. Um, but that is going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye.